All right, YouTube. Here we have Engine Tech's rod bearings. Yeah, we're gonna install these rod bearings into these rods. The piston's already in there. I'm sniffing a lot again because uh, I guess I have allergies. I don't know. Uh, it's really starting to bother me though. Ah, God. Yeah, that was bad. Okay, so we're back. Um, in short, to install your connecting rods, this is what we're showing in this particular video today. Um, you grab your connecting rods, your pistons, I already have my rings on there, they're already clocked. Uh, take off your nuts off the bottom and pull it off. That's simple. And you have to pretty much remove this bearing. This bearing is kind of hard to get out, um, especially the top half because there's nothing to press on. But if you could just catch an edge, your fingernail, pops right out. It's not that big of a deal. So, do the same to the bottom side. If you have to, if you don't have any fingernails, just push on one side and lift up. And they should come right out. Like so. And then you have to clean that surface to put in your uh, new you lift Hold on, hold on. Let me go get tissue because my nose and my sinuses are really messing with me right now. And we're back. Uh, Nose is jacked up. Anyway, to clean these off, if you have uh, mineral spirit, spirits handy or uh, something along those lines, go ahead and put a rag in the mineral spirits and you know, go ahead and wipe this out. But if you don't, a uh, really clean lint-free rag. This isn't lint-free, but it's, it's really clean. It's almost completely stiff. Except for the oil I just wiped on it. This will work just fine. Just uh, make sure you get all the lint off afterward. A lot of people will say that, you know, you need this, you need that to get all the lint off, but I've had no problem just picking it off with my finger and rubbing it away and giving it a good blow off and it's clean, yeah. So, do that, make sure you keep on moving to a cleaner part of the rag, so that way you can soak up all that oil. If you want to really get it clean, you can, like I said, get mineral spirits or denature alcohol. Uh, both of those will work phenomenally for this task right here. Uh, you want to do the same with the top half. Like so. And that feels a little bit rougher. I bet you there's going to be more uh, lint on this one. Just wiping it off. Yeah, if you can get mineral spirits for this, uh, go ahead and do that. But as far as I'm concerned, that's good enough right there. It doesn't look super clean, but there's no greasy residue on there. It's not all oily. No reason to go all crazy. Now, take your bearings, open them up. Yes, I'm still sniffing. I can't help it. It's really been bugging the crap out of me. It's been making me mad. It all started the other day, too. Seems like right when it starts to get warm, I start sniffing. It's kind of hard to get open. But, there you go. Your bearings. Uh, the top and the bottom are identical for the rod bearings. So you really can just take out a paper towel, set them all down until you're ready for them. If that's the route that you want to go. Uh, me personally, I kind of like to leave them in plastic until uh, I'm ready for them. Kind of wipe off the oil off the back. 
and uh, been installed. So, sorry I had to blow my nose, blah, 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 blah. Batteries are getting low, so with my cleaning rag, I generally like to take the oil off the back of them. Uh, there's a thin coating of oil on the back. Um, if I were you, I'd take that off to try to prevent your bearings from spinning. Um, they're not going to get corroded because they're going to be in the engine. But you can see right there that light coating of oil. Take that off of your new bearings, I say, personally. I'm not sure uh, what your manufacturer will say, but me personally, a clean bearing is a bearing that's not going to spin, in my opinion. So, Like so, just like your uh, mains, you just press it on in there. There's a notch right here and a notch right there in the connecting rod, and you can press it in. You don't have to go to the shop and pay 40 bucks to have this pressed in here. Because they will probably charge you 40 bucks to press one of these in with their hands. I'm um, not knocking the shop. I know they got a business to run, but 40 bucks really to do that. Any press work is $40. I've had that conversation before, that's why I'm mentioning it now. So, of course, clean off the bottom one. Get all the oil off of that bad boy. Put the old bearings in the dirty rag. Like that. All the oil's off. You don't want any grease in the back of these especially. You want that to be as dry and clean as possible. So uh, mineral spirits would really come in handy right there. And this is like a mi little mini main cap, so of course it's the same thing. God, I'm sniffing again. I just blew my nose. When I paused the camera the last time, it was just like a blow my nose. So I don't want to hear any complaints about that. But it's YouTube. It's going to happen. Make sure they're flush and even. Good God, this is ridiculous. I need Benadryl. Probably get some of that today. And then, bizarre, brand new bearing. An ugly old main cap. So I'm gonna do the rest of these for all the, the last four, and then I'm gonna bring you guys back because I'm sniffing the hell a lot and it's bugging the crap out of me. Pretty sure it's bugging you guys too, so. I'll bring you guys back after this is all done and we're ready to install. One thing I forgot to mention. Uh, after you do this, you kind of wanna pay attention. These are stamped with numbers. Like this piston is the number four piston, right? And a number four is on this side, but there's also a number four on this side as well. So make sure those match up. I'm not sure how your engine's gonna be specifically, but for me, that's how my engine is. So I make sure those match up. You can't really see that four. No, you can't. But make sure those match up and put your nuts back on your connecting rod to keep them from uh, getting lost because I almost lost them right at the beginning of this video. That would've been really bad. So put your nuts back on there and set it aside until you're ready to lube it up and install it. So, one down, one more to go.